This presentation seeks to advise teachers how to teach a junior certificate class about the environment under the CSP core concept of stewardship. It focuses on an urban field study as its basis. The urban area chosen is Ross Strand, County Wexford. I have chosen Ross Strand as the place for the urban field study as it is a small urban area making it easier for students to navigate on the trip itself, as well as for the teachers to keep an eye on student activities. I've also chosen it as it relates to student interests in two ways. Firstly, many students from the Wexford area will have visited Rossler Strand before, and many students know that there is a local business within the area owned by a former Irish international soccer player. It also has a blue flag beach, which adds an extra dynamic to the students' learning on the environment. It has an active tidy towns group and local authority bylaws and if possible we will meet a member of the local tidy towns group to tell us about the organization and how it has interacted with the area it also has many opportunities for cross curricular learning firstly with history with marconi house with geography the beach and with business with rossler harbour there are also examples of human interaction with the environment in the area. These include Kelly's Resort Hotel, built onto the sand dunes, and the golf course. The learning intentions are taken from Strand 2 in the new CSP short course curriculum. The first learning intention will be that students will be able to analyse environmental protection under the following headings, causes, consequences, and the impact on people's lives. This will be expected to be relayed and including what we have seen on the field trip. It will be embedded through the worksheet done on the field trip where they will be expected to take observations of where they can see causes, consequences and impact on people's lives concerning the environment. Secondly, students will be able to evaluate how they can contribute in responding to environmental challenges currently facing the world. This will be embedded through a think-pair-share methodology where students will be asked to take what they have seen on the urban field trip and think about how they can make a positive difference themselves. And finally, students will examine a campaign for change, most likely tidy towns, in the area of sustainability and whether or not it has or has not been successful. They will use their own observations from the field trip as well as from meeting a member of Rossler Tiny Towns. There are three key skills that can be embedded during this field trip and for this topic. Firstly, working with others. This will be embedded through the methodologies, of which there are three, all of which involve either pair or group work. They will also be expected to choose and take on different roles within the group. This will be done on the field study. Managing information and thinking is the second key skill that will be embedded. They will use their worksheets to gather information, record it, and be able to organise and evaluate that information in order to present it to their class. Finally, being creative. This again will be embedded through the think pair share methodology, where students will imagine the ways that they can make a positive difference in the world concerning specifically the environment. Cross-curricular links. As previously mentioned, Rossler Strand was chosen partially because of its cross-curricular links and opportunities. For example, history. We have the history of the groins on the beach. And we have the history of the harbour visible across from the beach. And we have the history of Marconi House, a radio transmitting station for Guglielmi Marconi, who used it as a place to move radio signals across the Atlantic including from Rosslare to Clifton and County Galway and finally ending at Signal Hill, St John's, Newfoundland. And the last cost curricular link is business. Local businesses are visible throughout, including Kelly's Resort Hotel, the cafe and many others, as well as international trade that could be visible and seen through Rosslare Harbour. There are three main methodologies chosen to go along with this urban field study. 
These include placemats. Placemats will be done in the first class after the trip. It will be used to help the students to collect their information. They will be given, put into their groups and given certain headings. Under those headings, they will write down and list all the information they gathered on the field trip. They will then collate and put this information together to give a con concise example of the information gathered. Secondly, think, pair, share. This is a very important methodology to be used as it links to one of the key skills and more learning intentions directly. The students will work in pairs and think how they can respond and make a positive difference to environmental challenges currently facing the world. They will be put in, in pairs. Group presentations will also be done following the field study. This will be an opportunity for the students to take the information they have that they have collated using placemats and collated and recorded and organised whilst on the trip using their worksheets and present their findings to the group and from the group to the remainder of the class. Challenges. There are always challenges involved with teaching new subjects but with the associated field trip there will be further challenges including organisational issues. If this was a boarding school, they would have to include lunches for the boarding students as well as making sure they can return home in time for tea. There also the booking of buses, ensuring there's enough staff and making sure that there is a member of Rosler Tidy Towns to meet with. Another challenge would be the students themselves must be observant whilst on the trip. If they don't make concerted efforts to make sure they have all the information necessary, then they will not gain the information needed from the experience. The worksheets are a key component within this study. If the worksheets are not adequate enough, then the trip will not be effective. However, all challenges can be overcome with good organisation and good planning. To conclude, I have chosen that an urban field study should be taking place in order to teach about the environment because it is just getting people out into the environment to learn about it. I have chosen Rosler Strand because it's a small urban environment with many extra dynamics that can be added. All challenges can be overcome with good organisation. The methodologies chosen allow for the students to work either in pairs or groups at some stage and it allows for the incorporation of three key skills and three curriculum learning intentions, as well as having good cross-curricular links. Thank you.